Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Looks like we've got the Zendikar landfall event, which I'll still have to complete. So whenever land enters the battlefield, reveal exile the top card. If that card is a land, goes into our hand. If it's a creature, we make a 1-1, one, one. and if it's a non-creature, we drain for one. All right, I got it. So we basically want to be able to put as many lands in play as possible to get as much advantage from the emblem as possible, which makes sense. All right, so I'm guessing we want grazers in here. For those. And yeah, Path does kind of work with the 1-1s. One so I guess Path of Discovery is actually pretty good still. What don't we need? I might want more lands in general if we're playing the four grazers. The life gain is good if we expect aggressive decks. Treasure map is probably still fine, maybe not as needed. Although we'll have to get a feel for the format first to see if we end up with a ton of lands in our hand and 22 is fine or if we need to add a couple more. Temples are a good addition for sure. And for temples, so my guess is we want 24 lands. And then that means I need to make four more cuts. I still like bond, maybe I just don't need the treasure maps. Could see that. And just go all in on the creatures and the path of discovery synergy. And citadel. This is like as streamlined as it gets, essentially. Yeah, I think I'll try this. And then the mana base. I guess we're about where we want to be here. Because we want to be able to cast a Citadel before turn 6 as well. But I guess with uh, 17 we're just about where we want to be. And we still have the 11 untapped green sources for the 1 drops on turn 1. Ideally we would have like 12, 13. So I could see cutting a swamp and adding a forest. I think we'll try this. Oh yeah, the tokens help with the Citadel activation too. So it's super synergistic there. And it's... Great with the 4 mana enchantments, Path of Discovery, so it feels like we've got a lot of built-in synergy with the emblem, which is nice. And yeah, the sand seems good. Make a 1-1, one, one. I guess I'll play Grazer. Alright, land is good. All right, so this turn I could go Wild Growth Walker plus Lunar Elves, although I think I would rather go Wild Growth into Branch Walker in the same turn. So I think for now I'll just play Swordtooth plus Overgrown Tomb. Land is great. I guess now I'll play the Lunar Elves too. Just chill for now. And then next room we can start exploring, try and get that citadel as soon as possible. I guess the red deck with Experimental Frenzy is kind of doing the same thing as the citadel. Although citadel should be able to kind of go over the top of Frenzy eventually with the way we have our deck built. I guess I'll play this untapped. Finds a land. It's possible the sequencing is not perfect here. Uh, yeah, another Swordtooth seems nice. So I don't want to play my land yet, I want to bond first, find the Swordtooth and then take it from there, although Wild Growth Walker is good too. Yeah, let's go with the Swordtooth. It's better once we find the Citadel, I think. And then no attacks. Alright, so hopefully we can find a citadel soon. The Steamkins are scary, that's for sure.
Goblin Chain Warlord is also pretty good in this format with all these 1 1 tokens running around. So, straight up Mono Red, probably not a bad choice either. So, our opponent's going off. And it looks like the Sword Tooth is not long for this world, but we've got a backup. Uh oh. Everything dies. I guess our opponent is almost on empty here. Two cards in hand and no frenzy yet. Oh, spoke too soon. With a frenzy, it doesn't bode well. Well, let's see what we can find. There's a citadel. I mean, I should play the Sword Tooth, right? Set up for Citadel next turn, hope they can kill it. There's Chain Warlord. Half of our board is gone. No attacks. Alright. Citadel time. So now we just need to find another wild growth walker. So, if I put the land in play, I get a 1 1. But I kind of want to just play the Jade Light, I think. So I might just decline here. I'll keep the Grazer on top. As that's another way for me to play a land and keep going, I guess. Alright. That one I definitely want to draw, so again I'm going to decline, which is kind of awkward, but so be it. There's Path of Discovery, that one we want to keep for sure. Alright, I guess we're out of stuff to do. So I'll just have to say go. Yeah, the Grazers, the timing was a little awkward since they never lined up with the card that I wanted to get rid of. Hopefully we don't get burnt out here. Could easily be dead. So it begins. They're not going after the Wild Growth Walker, they're just going face. Down to five. Down to four. And 
they basically have all the mana in the world here, so if they have some burn spells in hand, they can easily deploy those. More Steamkins. Lands are allowed too, you know. Alright, are we dead? Well, we get to untap. I guess that's promising. Uh, yeah, play a lands. Hmm, Path of Discovery. Well, that's gone. Play the Elf. The problem here is if we go too low, then the Firebrand also kills us, so I really need to find an Explorer creature here. Citadel doesn't do it, so I guess I'll play a Temple. And then I want to get the effect first to drain for one and then scry. And bottom that. Another citadel. I guess I also don't want to draw that, so... Let's just play a land. Hmm, more lands. Yeah, that's not great. So we kind of bricked off here. Still a 9, but our opponent got uh, quite bored. Yeah, a bit of an unfortunate sequence. Hit a bunch of lands and citadels in a row. I think we're about to die. Take f 3, 4, 5, down to 1. And I'm sure they can burn us out. But uh, we'll go through the motions. Something like this. So I'm taking two, three, four, five, down to one. Are we dead? Not yet. Uh, so you're saying there's a chance. All right, again, we'll do this first and then scry. And Swordtooth. So I have two life. I can't actually afford to play the Swordtooth from the top of my deck. So I guess gotta scry that to the bottom, right? What do I need to find? Um, I guess like a Lanner Elves off the top would do it, or just find another non-creature first. Another path that doesn't do it. But it does get me up to 3, so now if I find a 2-mana creature, I can start exploring and gaining life with Wild Growth Walker. There we go. Bond of Flourishing. Sure. So that gains me some more life. Creature makes a 1-1, one, one, which explores. Keep that on top. Alright, so we're back in business. Don't have many cards left in the library here. <laughs> wow. And our opponent concedes. Well, this was a pretty exciting game. Thought we were dead for sure, but uh, I guess we got there. Ooh, it's a spicy land as well. Alright, not sure if our deck is built perfectly, but I guess we'll try again. 
We could be playing Commander Dreadhorde to get a bunch of creatures back, but my guess is that with all the tokens we generate from creatures and the emblem, we should be able to just activate two citadels for 20 damage. This hand seems quite good. Citadel, that one we wanted to draw. Oh well. At least the cards go on the bottom, right, and they don't get exiled. Looks like we're up against regular escape shifts. Evolving Wilds triggers the emblem twice, that's a good point. Play land, see what we get. Another Citadel. The order is kind of awkward here. And then next turn I can play Path. This is a pretty weird event, not gonna lie. Lots to keep track of. Alright, there's Citadel, perfect. Lanarolf make a 1-1. One, one. Play path. And now drawing any creature or revealing any creature basically means we get to explore with Wild Growth Walker and uh, gain a bunch of life. Put on Bolum's escape shifts. Grow from the ashes is quite good too here. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to survive uh, 40 zombie tokens here. We'll see. Any reason to play my land before playing the branch walker here? I think I should play my land, because let's say we reveal something we want to keep on top. Then playing a land would be awkward. So this way I can basically stack my explore better. Bond the flourishing. I think we just want lands. So we can cast Citadel next turn. Explore a bunch. I'll keep another Wild Growth Walker. Explore again. So next turn I get to play Citadel and hopefully go off. Sure this can attack. All right, let's see what happens here. Escape shift would be pretty painful. Could be a crisis. Right, just floating mana for escape shifts. Yeah, I mean, uh, escape shift is kind of the the obvious deck to play here. With all the enter the battlefields triggers you get after escape shift as well. But we'll see. We get to do our powerful thing next turn with uh, Citadel, hopefully. <laughs> Massacre Girl sounds pretty sweet in this event, actually, with all those 1-1 one -one tokens. Pretty effective way of uh, wiping the board, although it's not great when we also lose our creatures, since we kind of want a critical mass of creatures ourselves. But in a different deck, I could see doing some work. The Blast Zone bug is still here. Alright, let's see what we can uh, get from our Citadel. Swordtooth is basically the card we want to find the most. 
All right, well, we kind of fizzled right away. So we're facing uh, 19 zombies and 35 life. It's probably not going to be great for us. So 19 attackers. Minus 4, 15. 30 damage, so we're exactly dead here. Taking exactly 35. If my math is correct. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, escape shift seems like pretty well positioned in this event. Well, we're not discouraged here, we're just gonna try again. Uh, sure. This might be the Sultai Field of the Dead deck instead. So I'll get this first and then scry. So we want to dig for citadel basically. Although Lander Elves isn't bad since then I can go path into a Lander Elves and then uh, explore. How important is that? Just accelerating seems nice so I think I'll keep it actually. Risen Reef. Are these elementals? Okay. Well, luckily they're just plant tokens, otherwise uh, this would have been pretty busted too. So we'll start with Path. Yeah, we'll keep that on top and then playing a land means we get to make another token which explores again. So we'll do this, which makes a token, which lets us explore. Finds a land, and we're just digging for Citadel here. Does keeping Grazer do anything for me? And yeah, we'll bottom that. And I can attack. I mean, we had a pretty decent start here. It's just about finding the Citadel. All right, Potent has seen enough. I'll take it. That's a spicy looking swamp. Yeah, we could metagame the event more by adding like answers to zombie tokens like Legion's End. It also feels nice to kind of do our own thing and just hope that we can do something even more powerful than the opponent's. Alright, double Surtooth, that's kind of what we need. No Grazers or Lanner Elves, but double Surtooth can catch us back up if we've got enough lands in hand. Alright, turn one Forest, finds Forest, alright, that's refreshing. Maybe not a Scapeshift deck. There's Lanner Elves. And we've got the Triple Swamp already, so it's not going to take too long to cast the Citadel. Brontodon gone. Alright, 
lands us fine. Say go. So three, four, five. I need to draw an untap land to play a citadel next turn or find one after I play temple. They might be playing the same deck. All right, that's sprout. That's too bad. Could also be some sort of casualties of war land destruction deck. There's no way for me to cast the Citadel this turn. I do want to get the Sword Tooth in play for next turn once I do play Citadel. Also, don't really want to risk losing it to another removal spell, but maybe that's just necessary here. And then cast the bonds, looking for, I guess, a land. Probably could have gotten the scry land there, actually, since I wasn't playing anything else this turn. All right, hopefully Sortooth lives. Doesn't look like it, though. All right, so we'll need to find another one soon. Or just find, like, a Path of Discovery. Wild Growth Walker to start gaining a bit of life. I guess I want to preserve my life total here for Citadel. Alright, let's start here. Just want to find a Wild Growth Walker at this point. Alright, that works. And say go for now, sadly. Alright, opponent packs it in. Fair enough. Our opponents haven't really let us go off yet. They kind of always conceded before we actually won the game with Citadel activations. So hopefully we can go through it once. Alright, we got our mountain with some uh, interesting hedron shapes in the background. Alright, so we've got a couple more to go here. This is a decent hand if we can hit some land drops with the emblem. With double grazer. Up against cape shifts. Let's see if we can be faster. Alright, lands are good. Discarding to hand size, discards cape shift, so they probably have another one in hand. Blunder elves. Get a land. And we're just looking for sword tooth and for wild growth walker essentially. Should have sent a message and attacked. Well, we somehow have more lands in play than the escape shift opponents. Doesn't happen very often. Alright, so next turn we get to play Citadel. We've got the path in play already, so we just need a Wild Growth Walker to pad our life total. And hopefully we get to rip through our deck. And the Explorer should make it so we don't uh, often end up with a ton of lands on top. 
Definitely want to keep that one. Not a bad first turn here. Let's see if we can improve on that next turn. It's unlikely that we get to double activate Bolas the Citadel next turn, but not impossible. We'll need to find lots of uh, creatures, make a bunch of tokens, and then find a second Citadel at the right time. Yeah, attacking is also allowed, but uh, opponent's probably gonna have enough zombie tokens that it's gonna be tricky to get past those. Hopefully note the fairies bouncing our stuff. Second Citadel on top is awkward. I think I'm just gonna endure it and pay six. Get another wild growth. Play wild growth from top of our deck first, I suppose. Sure, that's kind of a free spell in a way. I guess I'll get another wild growth. We haven't found a um, Surtooth yet, which is the thing we need to find the most. So let's see here. I guess I'll just play this from the top of my deck and play a Jade Lights. And with all these explore triggers, we should be able to find what we need. There's a sword tooth. Another sword tooth. Now we're well and truly going off. <laughs> it's like a machine gun. I'm getting uh, Nam flashbacks here. All right, let's play a Lance. Another Surtooth will do, although I can't play that one right now. Put a Temple in play for the Scry. Warning, oops. Hopefully it doesn't uh, pass a turn here. Just need to find a backup citadel so I can sacrifice and play another one. Should be another one in the deck somewhere.
All right, there's a second citadel. I think we got there. So I can cast the one on top and then in response, I guess, activate this. Yeah, that should work. So I need to go full control, cast, and then activate. So we'll sacrifice this and then one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Submit. Resolve. Resolve. And then I should be able to activate this again. All right, sweet. Well, opponent let us combo off, and we managed to basically play our entire deck on... What turn was that? Turn 6, probably. Turn 5, turn 6. That was fun. Got a nice forest as a reward. All right, so it is possible to beat the Scapeshift deck. You just need a pretty fast draw with the grazers and sortus to speed things up. All right, this hand has some issues, mainly no green mana. So I guess we'll mulligan. This is a fine keep. Got the sortus to speed things up. Um, probably need to keep all three lands. So do we keep a branch walker or path? I guess I'll keep branch walker for now. Looks like uh, classic mono reds. We're just digging for wild growth walkers. Jade lights. Don't think I need jade lights. Just playing a sword tooth next turn. Yeah, bottoming a land with that hand could have been reasonable too, since we're pretty likely to find more lands. Just don't want to be too greedy, because with Swordtooth we also kind of want extra lands in hand anyway. Grazer makes a token. Don't need to keep that land though. Alright, so we've got a reasonable start, but we'll need to find some action here. Citadel, Wild Growth Walker to gain a bit of life. Path of Discovery, maybe regretting the card we put on the bottom a little bit. Yeah, I just want to save my life total here. Alright, so we'll play a land first, I suppose. I could attack for five, maybe that's the approach here, just kind of play the aggro role. We have a 5-5 five, five on defense, maybe that's fine. And yeah, we're just a citadel away from going off with double sword to in play. We just need a wild growth walker and we're set. So opponent does not have any instants and sorceries yet. Not sure if I would block Lava Runner with Swordtooth, definitely not blocking Chain Whirler. Could just chum the Chain Whirler with her 1-1 token pretty easily. So yeah, this is kind of the decision, do we block Lava Runner or not? If they have a single burn spell, it doesn't do it, they need 2 to pump the Lava Runner. So it could be okay to eat it, or I could just take the damage from the Lava Runners and then chump Chain Whirler. And see how that goes, since, I mean, our opponent is at 15, we've got two 5-5s five in play. And what's the worst that can happen here? Opponent having, like, double wizard, or like, triple wizard sliding, or double wizard sliding lightning strike. We block, they kill one, and then deal damage to the other, and kill that one as well. Eh, I don't think I risk it. Chandra? Alright. 
That's fine. Bond is nice. Guess we'll bond first. And there's Citadel. Alright, so now how deep do we want to go? I think pretty deep. Alright, opponent has seen enough. I think playing path would have been fine there, like... We still had two extra land drops to play, which means we're pretty likely to eventually find a wild growth walker there and start gaining life again and just completely go off that turn. Alright. One more to go here to get our planes. This hand has a little bit of acceleration with the Lanner Elves, so it's not perfect, but I think I still keep... Ideally, we find a sword tooth soon. A watery grave. All right, Asper. That's new. Path of Discovery, solid, although I can't necessarily cast it next turn. Mm, against Asper it's pretty good though, but I kind of need to just ramp into the Citadel and then we're good. So we'll try this approach. Alright, so I've got a few options. So if I bond, I could potentially still play Wild Growth Walker this turn. So I guess I'll try it. Probably don't need a third Citadel, although probably don't need the Swamp either. I guess I'll still take Citadel. Yeah, that's good. Is our board gonna get swept up here and by Cry? Seems like sweepers in general should be pretty good. They might also be playing main deck unmoored egos. That's fine. So I get to go sword tooth, double lands, and then still play Jade Lights. Suppose I could also play Temple instead of Jade Light if we fear Kaya's Wrath, which they're likely to have. So I can still play Citadel by playing a natural land drop instead of having to rely on the Lanor. I think that's safer. Do I need more lands? Alright, so pretty sure we'll see a Kaya's Wrath here, and then we can follow up with a Citadel and hopefully get some value right away. And if they don't have a Kaya's Wrath, then we're in great shape, because then we still have a Sword Tooth in play, and then we're less likely to fizzle. Alright, just an Oscanta. Maybe keeping up a D Spark, but we've got plenty of Citadels, so that's fine. And right, never mind, Putin just packs it in. Citadel too good against control. I'll take it. Alright, and... Well... Got a few losses against uh, Scape Shifts. What else did we lose? We didn't lose a ton, to be fair, so... Yeah, I mean, the Scape Shift deck might be the best deck in the format. Uh, and didn't end up playing against any Cavalcade decks, which I'm guessing are pretty strong too. But uh, yeah, Landfall Citadel. Definitely also a consideration here as a nice uh, combo deck and yeah, every now and then you actually do get to combo off and the opponent doesn't concede right away and you get to go up to 200 life, which you don't get to do every day. 
So yeah, that's going to be it for me today. I want to thank everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.